Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today I'm going to explain about special GL indicator. So special GL indicator is related to our customer vendor or you can say it is related to our receivable and payable. So what is special GL indicator and where we are going to use, uh, how it is different from a normal transaction. So the, all these things we will see and practically also I will post one transaction uh, so that I can explain what is the use of special GL indicators. Uh, before special GL indicators, if you are not familiar with the concept of reconciliation and subledger, quickly let me uh, tell you about that. So when we are going to post the transactions related to any customers or vendors, so uh, customer vendors, we know that it is known as our subledgers. So whenever we are posting any normal transaction, normal transaction like let's say any sales invoice is there or any collection is there, so that time our subledger is going to update. For example, let's say when you are going to execute any FBL 5N report or let's say FBL 1N report. So those are your subledger data or uh, reports related to subledger. Now, suppose we are going to uh, see the reconciliation account balance. So that time we, we are checking the accounts receivable and accounts payable. So which is nothing but your GL. So and those data, your receivable payable data is going to update in your balance sheet or in your uh, books of accounts. That concept we know. So this indicator is not related to that. So in uh, in SAP, or you take a S4 HANA or you take uh, your old one SAP ECC, which is known as your SAP ERP. So both your suppliers or customers are known as your subledgers. And all the subledgers, or means your vendors and customers, are linked with the GL. So that is nothing but your accounts receivable and payable. And it is also known as your accounts reconciliation or uh, reconciliation accounts. So your accounts receivable, your accounts payable. So these are your reconciliation accounts. So whenever we are creating any subledger, make a, uh, that particular field as mandatory field so that when the super user or power user is going to create any business partner or customer, or vendor whatever so they have to maintain that account as mandatory account so that you can back end you can through your accounts receivable or accounts payable group when you are defining that so that you can make a mandatory field so that user can ignore it user can't skip it so they have to enter one reconciliation accounts because gradually once we are having so many transactions are there so that time it is very difficult to do the manual consolidation so any point of time if you want to see what is my total receivable balance as of today or by this month end so immediately we are going to check our reconciliation account so that is the benefit here now uh, this is s4 system so here i'm going to take business partner but the same concept is applicable on uh, your uh, customer vendor in ecc now if i will take this one in my uh, customer list or in my vendor list for example So this is my business partner and here if I will go to my company code segment, so let me fix that particular rule here. So if I will go to my company code segment and here you can see the reconciliation account is maintained. So this 2000 is nothing but reconciliation account. So any transaction which is posted with this particular subledger, also you will get one copy in your recon account too. Anyway, so I'm not going to show that report here because this topic is related to a different concept. So. Uh, Coming to the next point, so before coming to the special GL indicators, first we have to understand what is what is special GL transactions. Special GL transactions are various type of accounts receivable and accounts payable transactions that don't follow under your normal transactions. So when I'm saying normal transactions like your invoice, your collection, so these are your normal transactions where we have the account determination. That means we did the integration, integration, FI integration with MM, FI integration, SD. The moment we are going to post a billing document, we have the sales invoices there. So these are our normal transactions. So here, uh, before coming further or before going further, we have to understand the types of special GL transactions are there. So a special GL transactions is commonly indicated with like what we can say special GL transactions. So special GL transaction, either it will be a down payment, normally we are receiving the customer advance, we are paying the vendor advance, bills of exchange. So these are your uh, security deposit. So these are your special GL transactions. And special GL posting methods are there. All special GL transactions, we can classify as real-time posted transactions. So real-time posted transactions means during the execution of the transaction through the special GL accounting, 
uh, immediately we are going to have the impact will be there. The moment, for example, let's say we are going to post a, let's say, customer uh, um, advance. Let's say customer advance we processed. So what time? That time your immediately accounting entry will be there. So as we have received the customer advance, so bank is going to debit and your customer is going to credit. So that is known as your real-time posted transactions related to special GL transactions. So here uh, we can say all our special GL transactions can be classified into real-time posting transactions. Just now I have given one example. Some transactions are also known as your noted items. Noted items means in this case your books of accounts is not going to update. Let's say we have received the advance. So that time you can see that immediately your GL account is updated. Your bank account is updated. Your customer entries are there. Your sub ledger updated. Your recon account updated. Maybe recon account or alternate recon account. It is updated. So that is known as your real time transactions. Although it is your special GL transactions because it is not a normal transactions like your invoice collection. But in this case, immediately your books of accounts is going to update or GL balance is going to update. But there are some transactions just for our uh, record purpose we are going to post. So that is known as your noted items. In noted items, you are not going to find any accounting entry will be there. So there will be no like two uh, twofold entry you will find debit credit entries will not be there. Example, down payment request. So once I will show you the, all these in the practical in the system, you will get more clarity. But theoretically point of view, you can segregate before. Uh, coming to the indicator, you should know what is the special GL transactions. So I identify special GL transactions are those transactions which are not your normal transactions. So normal transactions are your collection, invoice and all. Whereas special GL transactions means although we are going to use here sub ledgers, but there are some different transactions because once there is increase in your business transactions, so automatically we are going to classify the other transactions as your special GL transactions. Best example, advance, down payment, your security deposit, bills of exchange. Then we identify some transactions are going to update immediately in the books of account. So that we are saying that real time posting transactions and some transactions are not going to update immediately or those transactions are not going to update your uh, books of accounts. Rather, it is information purpose will be there. You can say these are also your statistical entries, right? So uh, now let's post these entries in the system. But before that, coming to my first question, what is special GL indicators? So to identify or to segregate a normal transactions with special GL transactions, so we can use here the indicators. So you can use here system delivered indicators or if you want, you can create your own indicators also, special GL indicators. So where we can see these indicators? So if uh, let me show you this one in both technical way as well as functional way. As a functional consultant, where we can configure these special GL indicators. So this one I'm explaining on customer, same way you can try on vendor also. So if you'll go to your transaction code OBXR. Right, so here you can see different special GL indicators are there and these are our special GL indicators. If you want to create, you may create your own indicators. For example, I was talking about some noted items are there. Now this F is nothing but a noted item. So here it is, we can use this one with the down payment request or advance request. So here that is when you are sending a request that is in our books of accounts, the information will be there. So there is no accounting entry. Whereas if we'll take this one, let's say A, that means it is also indicator, special GL indicator, but this one is uh, your uh, uh, normal, I mean real transactions. So special GL transaction, but it is going to update in the real or immediately it is going to update. So that is your special GL indicators. This is one way. So every for indicator, you are going to configure uh, this uh, Con this indicate uh, under this indicator you are going to configure your recon account and alternate in recon account so this is one way where we can define our special gl indicators the other option is if you'll go to the transaction code abkp and if you'll click on this special gl here also you will find the, all the special GL indicator. That time in the previous screen, the special GL indicators related to customer was there because that time I selected the transaction code OBXR. Here, here you can see all type of like in system, whatever the special GL indicators of, uh, available. So everything is showing here. Here also you can see the same options are there. That is your request, down payment request. If it is related to D means it is related to customer. If it is related to vendor, then you will find also related to K means your vendor option you will find. So uh, D again A that is down payment request. Suppose I want to configure my special GL uh, reconciliation accounts or alternate reconciliation accounts. So advanced point of view, if you 
have I have created one Rigon account. Simply just double click here and add your chart of account. So my chart of account is C009. Now we can configure here the reconciliation. This is my reconciliation account. So accounts receivable. And this one is my advance receipt. Now technically this one is my current asset and this one is current liability because we have received the advance from the customer. So that's why in future, let's say here we have received advance of 10,000. Now this will be your current liability because this one technically we are not going to show in the account receivable. Now let's say we have uh, invoice is 40,000. This one is going to update in our example in 2000, which is your current asset. So we are going to do the reconciliation of your alternate reconciliation balance means 10,000 against your 40,000. So this will be a credit balance this will be a debit balance. So what is net receivable? So system is going to show you 30,000. So this one is your special GL indicators. In this case, there is no special GL indicator because it is a normal item. Here you will find the special GL indicator, whatever you have configured. If you have configured anything, that will appear here. Or if you have not configured, then if you are using system delivered, so that will appear. So in this case, like suppose I want to configure some special GL indicators. So simply I can click on new entry and I can create. So in OBXR, I can configure that one, right? So if I will uh, click on new entry, then add your account type. Suppose you want to configure anything, although it is not required already, we have it. So select here what I want to take. It is related to what? It is related to customer. Then suppose here we are going to take indicator. Uh, suppose let's say indicator is, let's say it is X, right? So this one is my, uh, security deposit security deposit from customer enter then fill the details like which debit uh, uh, posting key we are going to use which posting key we are going to use credit okay so whether we are going to have a commitment warnings and all so all these things we can configure right so if your question is what is special gl indicator so special gl indicators are we are using to differentiate our normal transactions and special gl transactions and now you know what is your special gl transactions so let me quickly show you one example practically so that it will be easy for you when you will do the practice so use here uh, the transaction code down payment request f that 37 let's change the company code select one customer here let's say amount is 5000 do you want So advance request to customer. So why we need to do the advance request? Because maybe this customer's credit score is not that great. So we can't give here 100% credit. So we need here 50%. We need here 50% advance. So advance request to customer. Post it. Now I want to check this particular transaction. So I will check my customer report. Now I'm, I'm not getting any information here related to that particular 5,000 entry related to that customer. I can't see because right now the transactions which are, although these transactions are open transactions, but right now the transactions which are appear here, these are your normal transactions. And exactly these entries you will find in your reconciliation account. So in our example, what is reconciliation account? So reconciliation account is 2,000. So this is my accounts receivable. And if I will take my open items here, so you can see exactly those those entries will be there, right? So 8,000 is there, 85536 is there, 85536 is there, then 8,000 is there. So this is my subledger, this is my GL data account receivable, which will be there in the balance sheet, and it is there. And it, here you can see some more items there because 
maybe another business partner information is also there. But I am looking here that 5,000 entry. And I said that some informations will be there just for information, just noted items will be there. So when I executed my report, in that time I have not selected the noted item. Now if I will select the noted item, you can see it is there. Where is that 5,000? Now you can see these 5,000 entries available here. Okay, and this is the indicator. So that time we configured under this indicator F. So a normal transaction, this one, and a special GL transaction, this one. A special GL transaction is differentiated with indicator. Okay, and where I can see these uh, informations, as I said, this is just for information purpose will be there. So it is noted item. When I activated my noted item option, that time I got it. Fine, now let me collect it or let me post a normal entry for this request. So now last transaction, I posted uh, one noted item for 5,000, which is there in your uh, against customer. Now here we can see the indicator is F. This is noted item. But now I'm going to process one more special GL transaction which with indicator A. And uh, this time it will be, I'm going to convert that 5,000 the noted item as my advanced receipt. So difference between that transaction, that is just noted item, information purpose was there. But here we are going to have the accounting entry because if we'll check this document, particularly if we'll check this one, here you will not find any debit and credit entry. You can just take information. So here no debit and credit is there. It is noted item. If you will not process this one, it's fine. Directly we can also go for advanced uh, collection where the debit credit will be there. But this item, I just for information purpose, I added. And same, I'm going to convert into my advanced uh, receipt. So this is also special GL transaction having indicator F. And now which I'm going to process, that is my special GL transaction having indicator A. So let's process it. So this is my subledger or customer, special GL indicator, whatever you have configured, then your bank account, bank GL account, Now already I have request is there, so you can check which request you are going to convert into your advance. So select and create down payment. Now here you can see the accounting entry is there. Your bank account is going to debit the posting key 40, line item 1. And second one which is your indicator, so in this case we are going to credit the customer but it is not normal collection, it's your liability, current liability and post it. So this document is posted, refresh. Now check here. So I sorted data with 17th date. So let me add here 18th. Now the previous open item 5000, which was the indicator with F, that means special GL transaction, this 5000 as converted into collection. Here you will find the accounting entry. And what is the indicator here? Just have a look into the indicator. So special GL indicator here it is A. So you will find here, this this is uh, this one entry, right? Uh, sorry, my mistake, not this one. 5000 is your indicator. But for that, you need to activate special GL transactions. Now check. So indicator is A, 5000. Okay, so customer here it is credited and the corresponding debit entry will find against your bank account. Now this time it is not only information, this is your accounting entry. So debit and credit both informations are there. So your bank debited and your customer credited. And this information where we can see if we will check the 2000 GL account, which is my recon account, you will not get it. Check. No, that 5000 is not there. This one is recorded against your alternate reconciliation account which you have configured under your indicator. So I need to check what is my alternate reconciliation account. Check this entry, we will get it. So right now I am in entry view. Right now I am in entry view where I can see my customer as a, if I will go to the general ledger view there I can get it. So in general ledger view I can get my rec alternate reconciliation account 2016.
can you see now so 5000 is your advance and account receivable is there so now we have a receivable item of 11516 and one special GL transaction with five them. Now, technically, if you understand, these are the items which are my current asset receivable, and these are the items which are already received. So this is advance. So when finally we will go for collection, so from this item we need to clear this five thousand. Then only final amount we are going to collect. Anyway, I already answered the question. What is special GL indicator? So I hope you got the idea. What is special GL indicator? Now just to complete the process. So let me clear this 5000 so what is net receivable in this case so net receivable is 11516 minus 5000 that will be my collection amount and that collection will be a normal item so let's quickly do that normal collection anyway you can do that collection so i am going to process with f-28 so before that if you check a normal it will not appear so first we have to do the clearing f-39 so I'm not posting invoice, already I have open items, so I'm going to use that. Against that particular customer. Check what are the down payments we have. So this 5000 we have, so now I'm going to clear it. advance settle now check what is receivable so 5000 adjusted so that 5000 which previously if you go to the customer book you will get more clarity here so, so now this 5000 was what we have advanced we have received that we settled with against our customer so now your net receivable item for this particular customer is after adjusting the previous 5000 which is advanced settlement done right so here net receivable is 3000 against this particular customer so if you'll go for collection then you will find that is this is my dr means invoice so out of that 8000 5000 adjusted and uh, uh, this is a different customer so this out of 8000 5000 already settled so net collection will be 5 uh, 3000 so do that 5 that's 28 So this is all about your complete cycle where we have uh, here we have highlighted the special GL indicators. So first, whenever you are getting any questions, make it visualize the business process, then prepare accordingly. We will meet soon with another scenario. Thank you.